It's 2020. Whitney, come on, step up, girl. I know you like to be like pushed. You like to be pushed in the gym. I'm pushing in the kitchen now. So this is mango sorbet. I just finished my black cherry and I can't decide which one I like more. How about real cherries, real berries, real mango, real pink guava? How about that? Hey, free woman. Welcome back to the free world channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that now. Click the bell icon so you get my videos straight to your inbox. So today's video is going to be a response to what I eat in a day to get fit by Whitney Simmons. And I have been wanting to do a video on her for a while. She's a fitness influencer. So here we are today. She is highly requested. So I'm going to do a response to this video now, but I'm going to show you the durian first. Look at this. This is a fruit. This is a fruit. It is amazing. It is creamy. It's like vanilla ice cream, marzipan. It's just, it's amazing. Okay. And this is real food. Okay. This is real food. And this is real food as well. And I'm going to talk more about that in this video. So if you want to see more of these videos too, make sure you give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can vote it down, but just do something if you want to see more of these videos. Okay, so let's get into it. By the way, sorry about the audio, it's echoey. This is all I can do at this point. So we're just gonna get straight into it. What I eat in a day to get fit by Whitney Simmons. All right, let's check it out, huh? I'm gonna be kicking off my morning with breakfast tacos. So quick, so simple, and it's been my latest delicioso breakfast and it's not oatmeal. Okay, so my oatmeal haters, you can't come for me. She's got quite a bit of makeup on there and I only talk about the makeup because I actually gave up the makeup. I gave up the makeup in 2017 after many, many years of putting on the makeup and it is so liberating. I actually wrote a book about it. It's that liberating. I got so excited that I wrote a book called My Naked Lunchbox, which you can check out in the sidebar here if you go to thebananagirl.com. So of course, if you want to wear makeup, that is your choice, but damn, what a pain in the ass. And I know some girls are like, oh, I do it for art and everything like that. But like, there's better things to be doing with your time. And it is expensive as fuck, you know. You've got better things to spend your money on. That is for sure. But anyway, I digress. Let's get into it. Today, I'm switching it up. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. So I went in, warmed up some onions and bell peppers, sauteed them down a little bit until they were softer, oh, added no. some eggs. She's got the menstruations in there straight away. Girl. Come on, it's 2020 and you're still having the hensies. This is something I do not understand. You know, Whitney definitely has the information. She knows about veganism, okay? And she probably knows something about the ethics behind the lifestyle. You know, every time you're eating these hensies, you are, you're killing baby male chicks that are useless to the industry, okay? They're just, they're literally put into a grinder alive. That's not okay, all right? Especially when there are substitutes. You can even just get a young coconut, okay? Get a young coconut, scoop it out. I'm gonna give you the frugivore substitute, okay? Get some young coconut. Look at this. Look how much it looks like egg, like cooked egg, but it's not, and it's healthy. Now I'm warming up my tortillas. These are the Siete almond flour tortillas. Okay. They're delicious, okay? Warming these up, they get they warm up pretty fast, so I'll just keep flipping them until they're ready. Here's the final product. I added the egg scramble with the bell peppers and the onions, and then I added black beans, salsa, my favorite salsa, Trader Joe's garlic chipotle salsa, and then a quarter of an avocado. I'll probably eat the rest of this at lunch today. Okay, I'm really happy. First thing in the morning, I'm not too starving, so something like I'm really happy that she actually has some fruit in there okay she's got some fruit in the sauce and she's got fruit and um, the avocado is obviously a fruit but it's like a low sugar fruit okay it's a low sugar fruit and i love avocado i have it most days okay but to start your day with it is not the best idea because your body and your brain is really needing that fructose really needing the glucose and it is difficult for your body to derive a lot of glucose and fructose from these you know foods okay like glucose that's what you're going to derive so it's best if you like get the smoothie in get a smoothie bowl in you know heaps of fruit and bananas and papayas i mean like real food like this you know and 
Obviously, you can't get all of these fruits that I'm showing you, but you can definitely get a lot. I know you can get a lot. If you're watching me and you're in the US, which most of my audience is, go to Whole Foods. I've been there plenty of times. They have a beautiful array of fruit, and that is what your body really, really wants, that hydration, that fruit sugar, first thing in the morning. So then you don't even think about coffee. You don't think about caffeine at all. You're just like, I'm like fruited up, you know. I'm fruited up, I have enough, I don't need to think about it. So that is my first little comment on this one. Like this is perfect to kind of hold me over into my mid-morning snack. Got my carbs, got some fat, got a little protein in there. Delicious. This meal reminds me so much of Nikki because she's my little taco queen. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna- I don't know, I'm just not, like I just can't imagine tacos being good. First thing in the morning. I'm just like, um, where is the carbs? I mean, like, there is some carbs in there, okay, but not enough, not nearly enough for someone who works out as much as, as Whitney does. And I've got to comment on her hair as well because her hair actually reminds me a lot of my old hair. When I used to bleach it a lot, I used to dye it a lot, it was very frizzled, okay, and like, you know, she's obviously an attractive girl. I'm not saying she's ugly or anything like that. This is just purely an observation. Okay, so don't make this anything like she's hair shaming or something like that. I'm not hair shaming. This is real talk. Okay, so my hair used to look a lot like Whitney's when I was bleaching a lot. It was, you know, it was dry and it was wanting just to be its natural self, basically. And that's what it is now. And I can't believe how much it's changed. Honestly, I stopped dyeing my hair before November 2017, that's when I stopped removing my body hair and, and also putting on makeup. That was like 2016, I stopped dyeing my hair and it's so much healthier. It is like, it's obviously, you know, it's good that I'm eating like a high fruit diet as well. That's super good. But I also use bicarb soda. I use bicarb soda and a bit of lime juice and a bit of water and I put that in my hair. And the pH has been corrected with the lime juice so you don't have to worry about that. But honestly, it's so good not dyeing your hair. And I was spending so much money and it was ruining my hair. Absolutely ruining my hair. So just a little bit of side tip on that. Okay. Just getting ready. I got a post. I got some business stuff I got to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and head to the gym because today is day four of the Alive 1.0 challenge. So I'm doing my Alive 1.0. Okay. Love it. Okay. All right, so she trains. We know the girl trains. Okay. She, she's burning the calories. She's burning the calories. So she needs a lot of fruit sugar, especially. Let me show you my gym outfit. Okay. Got some purple vibes today. This is the Gymshark High Waisted Flex okay. shorts. I really like them. All right, all right. She's got some flex shorts. That's good. But this looks uncomfortable to me. It <laughs> just like, that is so tight around her waist. It's just so tight. I'm just like, I couldn't have something that is like, oh, really squeezing my organs super hard like that. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I can't wear that like tightness around my waist. Getting ready for the gym right now. You guys know I can't work out without my pre-workout. I still get this okay, question. So the, all right. So I can't work out without my pre-workout. She's telling us something here, okay? And this is another sign of carbohydrate depletion. All the time, supplements are not necessary. You are still gonna reach all your fitness goals without supplements. They just age you, okay, that's it. This is the Alani New Pre-Workout in Pink Guava. It's my absolute favorite pre-workout in the entire world, okay? It tastes absolutely delicious. Okay, okay, so she's obviously selling this, all right? So we go to the box. We go to the description box and we find this Alani New Supplements. She's got a, a link there. And I had a look at this stuff. So I actually went and had a look at her website at the, the pack that she's selling. It includes like a protein shake, a pre-workout mix, and also it has this energy drink. And it's really disappointing that she's promoting these drugs and chemicals to her audience. You know, this Alani energy drink that she is promoting as well has basically like it took me a long time to actually find the ingredients someone just uploaded this ingredients list onto google the actual company doesn't show you the ingredient list close up it's like blurry so you can't you know even read it i think that's even illegal i'm not sure but anyway i looked close up at the ingredients in this and it it's horrifying it has this erythritol um, which is artificial sweetener which is very like i would not be putting it in my body um, also, it's got uh, sucralose, which is like splendor. You know, like I don't want to put this stuff in my body. I want real food. We need to stop basing our diets on, you know, drugs and chemicals. 
That's what's happening. Real food, real food has gone out the window and the drugs and the chemicals are in. Drugs, caffeine, yes it is a drug, it's a psychoactive stimulant, okay? You're going to pay for that. It is not healthy and I wouldn't be taking dietary advice of anyone who is addicted to psychoactive stimulants. No thank you, okay? And the chemical factor here, the artificial sweetness, there's no long-term studies on this shit. You know, you're putting in these chemicals into your body. They've only been around for like, some of them like 20 years, some of them like a couple of years. And you're just being a guinea pig for these chemicals. Your body is just like this test, you know, like this lab test facility. You know, you don't make your body like a test tube, you know. This is not good. And like there's 200 milligrams of caffeine in this little scoop. And there's 200 milligrams at least in these energy drinks. So it's actually quite dangerous. If you have a few of these energy drinks, you can go over the amount of caffeine that is actually safe. It's just, I, I'm really disappointed that these, these women are not educating themselves on what's actually in these products and the dangers and the long-term possible bad effects and the fact that it's obviously not real food. Bring back the real food. Take a scoop of that, sip on that in the gym, look at this. Got a little straw in there. Mm -mm -mm. And then one scoop of pump. Oh. You can take pump separately from pre-workout. I just like to combine them because I love the pump product. So this, this pump product also has additives in it, which I'm just like, oh, girlfriend, you don't want to be putting all this in your body. She's only 27. I'm 40 nearly. You know, she, she's only 27 and she's really loading the chemicals into her body. This is going to have long-term effects and short-term effects. So this is mango sorbet. I just finished my black cherry and I can't decide which one I like more. I'll be honest. Scoop of pump. Pump is stimulant free, so if you don't like caffeine. How about real cherries, real berries, real mango, real pink guava? How about that? And if you're sensitive to caffeine or you don't want any of the beta alanine, which gives you like the itchies, then this is a bomb product for you. Also so good if you use it at nighttime because it won't keep you up till the crack of dawn. Don't do it. Do not buy these products that she is pushing, okay? She might be a nice person. I'm not like questioning that at all, but I, I'm just looking at what she's pushing. You know, we, we need to just start having this conversation about these drugs and these chemicals because it's out of control on YouTube. The sponsorships are just literally out of control and people, influencers are just not giving a shit about what they're, they're promoting. They're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make 20 bucks each sale. Heck yeah, let's do it. You know, there's none of this like, I wonder if this product is going to hurt my audience, potentially hurt my audience. Look, another thing I want to say about these energy drinks is they are terrible for your teeth, for your enamel and your dentin. Okay, they're going to dissolve your teeth because they're so low on the pH. Like, I, I guess that this one that she is pushing, this energy drink that she is selling with her pack, it would maybe be about 1.5 on the um, pH level. Because there's one here, the Rockstar and Full Throttle, 1.5 and 1.45. Battery acid is zero, just for example. And these, these are only 1.5 and 1.45. They're extremely acidic for your teeth. It's, it's dangerous to consume them. You are literally going to dissolve your teeth and have a lot of pain. And then you're probably going to blame the fruit. But obviously, it's not the fruit's fault. Don't let your body just become this, like, test tube. Okay, like where chemicals are put in there and you know, you, you see what happens. You don't want your body to be that, obviously. Something I've been loving to do is take a Vans gluten-free blueberry waffle, pop it in the toaster, add a little bit of peanut butter on it, and then take it with me in the car. I okay, eat. okay, so she's got the waffle and she's got the peanut butter. I don't know whether it's plant-based. I think the waffle is probably plant-based and she's having peanut butter. So I'm happy that it is plant-based, but a better option here would be a banana. Yes, a banana, a whole food, okay? It would be a better option because you don't need this fatty food like peanut butter before a workout. It's not going to aid your workout. Don't let anyone try and sell that to you, okay? Yes, you get some calories, but a lot of people are eating because they're like, oh, the good fats and the, the protein are gonna help me train harder. You need carbohydrates, you need the glucose and the fructose. This is what's going to really fuel your body, really get you like, yeah, I can fucking train. You know that feeling?
Mm. In my car, don't judge me. Thank you so much. Okay. Got our snack, pre workout. It's gym time, baby. Okay. So for lunch today, I'm going to be making another bowl where I just put as much stuff in it that I can. It's my favorite thing to do. I've been buying turkey burgers from the- I mean, I, I really, I'm, I'm into the like, just put as much as you want in the bowl. You know, just like get the fridge, everything, you know, leftovers. I think that's great. Meats counter at Harmon's. They come pre-seasoned. They take five to 10 minutes to fry up. Toss it a bowl of everything. It is the easiest lunch. It is so nice for days like this when I don't want to spend a lot of time cooking, especially because I got to get back to work. We got things to do. Oh, no. So like I always do, I get some things prepared ahead of time. So these are my black beans. I used some of this in my breakfast today. Now I'll probably use a good portion for lunch today. Have corn, cucumber, the rest of the bell pepper that we cut up this morning. And then I'm gonna make a quick side of asparagus because that also takes five minutes to fry up. So super quick, super easy. I finally feel like I'm getting back in the groove of things. I fell off the eating healthier train, okay? Let's get lunch started. Oh no. Okay, so this is some, I think it's turkey, she said. It's like poultry is like... I mean, not only is it unethical, okay, not only is it unethical to eat animals, to eat turkeys and to eat chickens, but it's unhealthy, okay? Poultry is actually some of the, the most obesity-causing animal flesh you can consume. A study followed 89,000 people in four countries and found that animal protein intake was associated with long-term weight gain. What a surprise. We're not surprised there, right? Of course it is. And the worst is 40% more weight gain in the poultry. So a lot of these women are having this animal flesh because they think it's like going to help them get lean and that they need all this protein. It's not true. Your body manufactures most of the amino acids that it needs. You don't need to be intaking this big lump of high protein animal flesh. It's just, it's useless. It's unethical. It's 2020. What are you doing, Whitney? Come on. Like, I'm holding her to a higher standard. I expect more from her. She seems like a, a cool chick. She really, really does. But this is not cool. Turkey burger is cooking. I'm gonna flip that in a few. I'm gonna start getting my asparagus ready. My favorite way to cook asparagus is just to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over it, pop it in there, and then season it with garlic salt. So good. I love frying it because it keeps it a little crunchy. Drizzle this over it. Delicious. I mean, like, why, why not just do like a, a veggie patty? She went to Harmon's. I mean, Harmon's is like, I've been to Harmon's in New York, I believe, and they have everything. You're going to get a veggie patty there. You know, it's so easy. You're living in like America. I mean, like so easy to get veggie patty or make your own, you know what I mean? Get my bowl ready. I added a little bit of jasmine rice. What? I'm still using the Trader Joe's organic jasmine rice. It's so good. You pop the bag in for three minutes and then it comes out so soft and fluffy. This is probably about a cup of jasmine rice and then I'll toss the turkey burger in there and everything else. Here's lunch, a delicious bowl. Okay, so this is the lunch. I'm very happy to see that there's some cucumber, there's some like corn, there's asparagus, there's some beans. She's got plant foods in there, which is great because I remember a video from um, Whitney and she had like a chicken flesh pizza base creation thing. And I'm like, this is disgusting. What are you doing? You know, so this is a vast improvement. So 10 points for improvement. Really, really. But look, look at this dish. It is very low in fructose. I'm the frugivore. That's what you're gonna get on my channel, okay? I am all about pushing the fruit because I know we are anatomically frugivores. So humans need to eat a lot of fruit and they start to fail and they start to go to, you know, the refined sugars if they're not having enough fruit. Refined sugar isn't the devil or anything like that, but fruit sugar is always the best. Having fruit is always, always going to be the best. So that's the recommendations you're going to get on this channel. So this is what she's seriously lacking in this meal. Learning how to make my own dressings. I've always bought store made dressing. Okay, so she has the honey going in there. So this is the first time that she's, you know, she's eating the fructose. So she's getting the honey in there instead of having fruit. You know, honey is not the best for your teeth either. I would avoid it. So, kind of dabbling in that. I'm just gonna lightly drizzle this over. It has Dijon mustard in it, white wine vinegar. I'll leave the recipe below. It's okay. It's kind of like a glaze. And 
another dressing would be salsa as well. You guys know I love salsa. I love salsa too. Alright, here's what I'm snacking on today. I've been loving these popcorn flag seeds. They're protein. Look. I am from the gym culture. I used to be a personal trainer for years. I had my own business, very successful personal trainer. I know all about these protein things, you know, protein snacks, protein crisps, protein, protein, protein. It's just obsession. There's this obsession at the gym with protein and it is completely unscientific. It literally is. There is no basis in it. It is pure marketing. And the people who are saying you need to eat more protein, they don't understand basic human physiology and nutrition. They just simply do not understand because our protein needs are very, very small. I've spoken about this before. So see what she's having here now. Okay. Yeah. She's got some plant foods. She's got like a hummus there. She's got, you know, vegetables and she's got these snacks, but where are the carbs really? Like the real carbs, like the fructose, the ones that are really like, you know, you, the energy into your cells where you feel like I feel vibrant, you know, and switched on and I can train. I feel amazing. And this is really good recovery. You know, that feeling, you know, you know, that feeling where you really sugared up and you feel great. This is what she needs. This is what she's really missing here. And eventually she will make up for that probably later on the day having refined sugar. Okay. Let me just stop it right there for a moment. A great snack, which I have been recommending, frugivore recommendation substitutes, is a coconut de medjool date rolls. Check them out. They're amazing. Get them at Whole Foods. Get them in a whole lot of places. It's just date and coconut. And it is a fantastic snack. You know, if you're not, you don't have the juicy fruits around. You don't have the juicy fruits, okay? You don't have the dragon fruit or the mangoes or the durian, which isn't really, like, juicy, but it's <laughs> delicious. Um, if you don't have the juicy fruits around, then yes, take the medjool date rolls on the go. It is fantastic. Check them out. Talk about it in the comments. If you had them, let me know in the comments. Do you like them? I'm sure you do. I love them a lot. So that is a healthier snack. So I chopped up some golden potatoes, chopped up some carrots. We haven't had carrots in a while. So usually for every dinner, I focus on cooking a carb. That looks good. That looks great. She's putting the olive oil over, which is 100% unnecessary. It is 100% fat, refined fat. You don't need it in your diet. Don't be listening to Abby, not so sharp, trying to tell you you need oil in your diet. Like seriously, is she for real? Is this woman a dietitian? I don't know, because she doesn't seem to understand basic human physiology and nutrition. You don't need 100% refined fats in your diet. Just eat the whole food, eat the olive if you want to, you know, eat the nuts. You don't have to have the refined product. But like, this looks great, hey, carbs. A protein and some veggies. So the veggies tonight are carrots. We have our potatoes for some wonderful, delicious carbs. And then we're gonna have some chicken with this as well. Roasting veggies in the oven is the easiest Why? thing you could do. So pop them in there. Now it's time to get started on the rest. We're gonna try to caramelize some onions. We haven't done this before, but we found a recipe that we wanna try out. So, we're so she said that they're gonna have some chicken. So she has the dead bird in there. Dead bird is not part of the frugivore diet, okay? It should not be ingested by the human. It should not, not go into our organism, into our delicate digestive system. It is just going to provide problems. It's got no fiber, no fiber, no carbohydrates. Like it's like literally the, you know, it's a pointless thing to put in your body. Your body has to work really hard to convert the protein into sugar. Okay. So through gluconeogenesis, the body has to go through this complex multi-layered, you know, process in order to derive any glucose from the chicken. Why do that? Just go straight for the foods that provide the real food, human food that provides you with that glucose straight up, you know, tiny recipes getting inspired. I'm trying a new lippy. Check this out. I just got the Glow Recipe Lip Pop. Coconut oil, I think. I hope. Mother Nature has hit, and um, my will to continue has fallen. Is your daughter helping you? Okay, so she cut her period, I'm guessing. Mother Nature has hit, or she's exhausted. I think she, think she made a period. Um, Look, something that I've noticed that is very, very important when you're menstruating is not to have menstruations from a chicken. <laughs> not to have animal products is super important. Obviously, I don't, I'm vegan, but 
when I used to eat animal products, my, my menstruation was very painful, okay? It was very painful. Fat intake is really, really important. Keep it low, especially around your, your menstruation because it's gonna help so much. Carbs high, keep the fat low. It's going to help the pain, that's for sure. This is my heat pack on my uterus. This smells up, maybe. Onions are done. It doesn't look appetizing. Yeah, see, I mean, like, the dog is meant to be having, obviously, chicken. Not, you know, obviously running around, it would, you know, kill a chicken, but not humans. So a good substitute for Whitney is chicken of the woods. Chicken of the woods mushroom. Okay, like this literally, look at that's what the mushroom is. Mushrooms are amazing. I had this mushroom in um, Chiang Mai in Thailand and it was so much like chicken flesh. I had to take it back and ask her, I'm like, are you sure? Like, are you sure this is not dead bird? And she's like, no, no, it's a mushroom. She showed me the mushroom. I'm like, damn, this is like crazy. How is this so similar? I don't need to have that similar taste, like flesh, like substance, you know, like that feel in my mouth. I don't need that, okay? I'm, I don't like the fleshiness. But if, if someone needs that, then mushroom, look, it's amazing. You can make these burgers that literally, that looks like dead bird, right? So she's talking about getting creative. Whitney. Try the mushroom. Get the mushroom in there. Try chicken in the woods or try other chicken-like mushrooms because there is many out there and you will not be able to tell the difference. It's crazy, honestly. I'm on camera, but it looks good in real life. Seven's cooking the chicken right now. We're gonna top the chicken with the onions, add a little cheese on Stefan's. Are the potatoes done? It should be done. Potatoes and carrots are almost done. Quick little dinner tonight. Awesome to see so much vegetable matter there. It's really good, but I could eat. I, I would eat that in one sitting, of course. That is probably enough for me, but not enough for both of them. Final meal, little chicken breast. I would put a salad there. I would obviously take away the dead bird and put in mushroom. Okay, put in the chicken of the woods and mushroom. Put in a salad. You know, it would be it would be good. Okay, and the mushroom has a lot of protein. If you're worried about the protein, but you shouldn't be, the mushroom still has a lot of protein. Okay, so don't worry, you know, just get it in. With some onions on top, adds a lot of flavor. As you can see, how was it? It was great. <laughs> Carrots and potatoes. So she's gonna be wanting something sweet. We know it, she's gonna be wanting something sweet after this because throughout the day, she didn't get enough fructose. She didn't get enough fruit sugar. Remember, the number one risk factor for death in the USA is not eating enough fruit, okay? And then, then there's people, like this unnatural friggin' who like is telling you not to eat too much fruit. Have the caffeine, but don't have too much fruit. You know, it doesn't make sense, does it? It doesn't make sense. You know, so you need the fructose. Don't be scared, please. Potato, super simple, super easy. I would say this took us like roughly, what, 20 or 30 minutes? Well, the potatoes cook for 20. 45. What? All right, 45 minutes <laughs> and dinner is complete. All right, you guys, I am ending the evening with my favorite dessert. I couldn't finish a full day of eating without a dessert. You guys know me? We just found out that my local grocery store, they have a little- Like, hang on, she just said, I can't finish a full day of eating without dessert. Of course. You know, I mean, I'm having dessert every meal and I'm loving it. I get to have dessert for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I mean, I also have other things. I eat raw to four or I have all raw days. It just depends. But, you know, if you're not eating enough fruit, you're going to have this refined sugar at the end of the day. Market eating area and they now sell pineapple dough whips. Have you guys ever had a pineapple dough whip? It's the bestest dessert in the whole world. Listen. I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? We've been coming here frequently. Hey, what do I say? You know, if you eat 80% healthy, have a cookie. And today my cookie is a Okay, so she thinks that sugar is bad, obviously. She thinks that carbohydrates, you know, you gotta be careful, don't have too much sugar. Whitney, you're on the wrong track, okay? It's not the sugar. It's not the refined sugar. It's not the glucose, it's not the fructose. These things are easily absorbed by your body. The monosaccharides, okay? You got the you got the glucose and the fructose. It goes straight into your body. It is basically in your mouth. You are absorbing instantly as soon as you have it. 
You don't have protein receptors, okay, in your mouth. You have the sugar for a reason. You have the sugar taste bud. And, you know, it's it's just so vital to understand the importance of fructose and glucose, the, the role it plays in your, your health, your energy level. So you don't need caffeine then. You don't need caffeine. Like I've said, I haven't had a coffee for like 15 years. How many people do you know who can say that? It is the world's most popular drug. So how many people do you know who can say that? Not many. So Whitney, you're looking in the wrong, you're like thinking it is the sugar, that it is a problem and that it's unhealthy when it's actually, you're having the animal protein, you're having the animal fat, you're having too much protein and fat, not enough carbohydrates, not enough fruit. Fruit, 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 fruit. The dull whip. I'm, I'm so excited. Stefan just ran in and got it. Listen, it's raining, as you can see from the reflection on the window. Here she is. Cute little baby. It's a four ounce dull whip, pineapple dull whip. Best dessert in the whole world. Am I wrong? <laughs> no. It's so good. Uh, I'm so Come on, like, is it only me who noticed how excited she is about the sugar? Of course, of course she is excited because she's a high sugar creature. She's a frugivore. You're a frugivore, I'm a frugivore, she's a frugivore. That's why she's excited. It doesn't take, it doesn't take a scientist to like break that down for us. Honestly, it is so obvious why she's excited. She didn't have enough during the day and now she comes here and she's having some and she likely thinks that it makes her fat or something. That sugar is fattening. It's not fattening or I would be literally obese. Yes, I have refined sugar as well. I have fructose. They're not the devil, but fruit sugar is always best. I'm excited. Oh God, my nose. At Disneyland, they sell Dole Whips, but the line's always like three hours long, you know? So this is just, this is a miracle. This is what I'm most grateful for today. Oh, whoa. I'm most grateful for today. There you go. Oh, do I need to, like, I rest my case. Do I need to say anything else? She's the most grateful for the whole entire day of what she's eaten. That sugar, that ice cream, which is full of sugar. Like, come on, guys, seriously, let's just, let's, let's, like, let's get a grip here. This is, like, ridiculous that people are not understanding how important carbohydrates and glucose and fructose is for the human body. We need to start working and thinking and educating ourselves, you know, just realizing like why, why we get so excited, why, why she's almost having an orgasm over the food, uh, over the dessert, because that's what she wants. She's wanted it all day. So that's it. That's all I can really say. Okay. So the frugivore breakdown, the frugivore breakdown is Obviously, she needs more fruit, and you probably do too, okay? She needs more fruit, eat more fruit. It's very slimming, it's very healthy, and no, refined sugar isn't gonna make her fat, it's not gonna make you sick. Like, people try and tell you, oh, it's gonna make you fit, you're sick and disease. No, take out the animal products, they're cruel, it's very unethical, okay? It's very unnecessary. It's 2020, Whitney, come on, step up, girl. Step up. I know you like to be like pushed. You like to be pushed in the gym. I'm pushing in the kitchen now, okay? Step up and get with the program. Stop hurting animals unnecessarily, okay? And just get the plant-based options and really focus on the fructose, the fruit and the glucose and the higher carb foods. All right, so that's my, that is my appraisal. That is my like roundup of Whitney's day. I'm glad to see that there was more plant-based food than she has done in the past. I hope that continues, but yeah, get the fruit in. All right, don't forget to go fruit yourself today. Let me know in the comments below who you want to see next and I'll see you next video.